Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't get off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with my dad dearest, the only LFD. Man, he drug me up out of bed this morning and said, son, I just gotta go fishing. And I was like, you know what, dad, that sounds like a good idea. And then we get out here and it's 30 degrees, wind's blowing 20 miles an hour. And I was like, dad, I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're about to find out. <laughs> we're, we're about to find out. He's got an itch that he needs to scratch and it is called do a little dangling. Me and my dad don't get to fish as much as we used to. We're, uh, we're both busy bees nowadays, but uh, we're gonna go try to catch some trout. I'm gonna try to catch some catfish and possibly some trout and just see whatever is in the river that's gonna bite today. The water's already cold, so maybe the fish aren't gonna be affected, but as you guys can hear through that wind, whoo, it's gonna be a frosty one. The conditions have been tough here lately. I actually went out on the water yesterday to a local lake trying to I, I've been waiting on this lake to explode because it has sucked so long. So I try to go out there like once a week or once every couple weeks just to check on it. And it was so rough. Like all the fish were out in 30, 40 feet of water. I tried everything. I went up shallow, I went super out deep. Uh, I, I went fishing for crappie as well. I ended up just catching one bass on, on a spoon underneath some docks around a brush pile and they were just the softest, softest bites. I do love river fishing because it, there's just a different look to it, uh, and you're also picking out little targets to cast to. Uh, it's just, it remind, kind of reminds me of bass, like flipping wise. Uh, really picking out those targets where you think the fish are gonna be, and then just getting your lure, presenting it the correct speed and depth, woo, and presentation to get them to bite. So my hands are freezing now from holding this camera. I'm gonna slap on some waders. Let's give it a dangle. Oh, he's gonna break me off in the rocks. Oh my gosh, it's a big old white bass or a hybrid. Oh my gosh, it's a big old, like, it's, yeah, it's like a hybrid. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. There we go, folks. That's either, that's a straight up white bass. I don't think that's a hybrid. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Look at that sucker. I think we know, we got to take him home. I think that might be a record. What do you think? I mean, that is a huge white bass. I've never seen one that big. No, it might. I think it is a hybrid, actually. I can see the striations a little different down there. Yeah, that's a hybrid. My gosh, that is fun. That is fun. That was like my fifth cast right there, guys. I'm going to let this fish go. Hybrids are pretty cool. They're awesome, actually. But what we first noticed, me and dad rolled down here, is there are shad that are literally dying. It's so cold. You can see them kind of flickering in the water. And uh, I was just throwing this little rooster tail. What do you guys sent this box of lures into me, actually? This is from uh, Rocky Port. Just a bunch of spinners and spoons in there. One of you saw me river fishing and thought, thought I could use that, so there you go. Appreciate it. Just look at all the birds, man. Birds are just loving it. Uh oh, that's a big one. That's huge. Oh, man. This could be uh, El Carpo. It's either a carp or a catfish. Look at that, it's a carp. You got one? Popped off. What was it? This big old carp. Look at those little shad, y'all. Man, if you're a bass or a catfish or anything, that's just candy coming through slow moving almost dying shad from this cold water oh here he is come on now come on now oh, oh yeah he's just slowly oh, crawling oh, oh popped ah. off ah 
easy now, easy. <laughs> uh, it's the fight. Wait, he's just thumping. Just it's like, the fight. He's just like, kind of just rolling around. Yeah, he just felt like a, a big old slug out there. Yeah, it was just like Dum. a rock. Yeah. yeah, the rock just starts moving. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. Big old carp. They're so cold they can hardly kick it out. Guys, these carp are just, they're thick. They're thick in here. There's, uh, there's really no avoiding. Cat. It's a, it's a fun bycatch. It's really fun. I'd love to come out here and, oh, are you hooked up? Rock. Oh, shoot. I just lost mine. He just came off. There he is. Biggin', biggin', biggin'. Taking off. Taking off. Oh my gosh, he's jumping. He's jumping. He is jumping. I got a, a blue carp in the mouth. In the mouth, he actually ate it. Y'all, that's insane. I actually caught him in the mouth. Wow. Wow, look at the run. This is crazy. Wow. Come here, come here, come here, baby. This water's so cold, they can hardly, hardly move. Trout fishing, catching seven, eight pound carp. It's awesome. <sighs> come here, baby. Come on, come on, come on. God, these things fight so hard. Ah, oh, dang. What a beast. What a beast. Y'all, that is too much fun. Too much fun. Oh my God, that thing's huge. Yeah. See you, buddy. LFD. <laughs> Trying to land one. He's had three on. Come on, come on, come on. What do you got? Is it a carp? It is a carp. Yeah, four. I'll help you land him since I got the boots. Uh oh. Like trout gone wild. See if you can get him, get him on the beach here. Pin him with my feet. Got him. All right. right. Let him go. Wee hoo! Back into the deeps. Awesome. I guess if you had some bread or uh, the right fly, oh, yeah. like just put it, drift it like right in front of them. Maybe a s really small like jig head fly. Something that'll go to the bottom. All right, so uh, pretty much broke off my catfish rig. Um, took about 30 seconds. Trying something here. A little jig head with some crappie nibbles. Let's see if I can, I got a bite here a minute ago, like right in this current break, kind of out front. And I was just gonna see if I could dangle. Just do a little light dangle presentation. Got him. Oh, jeez. I don't know what is going on. Like that fish is just swimming with it. You present it, let it drift. Natural presentation. He's got it. Go. They're grabbing this thing like every time. Golly. This is unbelievable. I don't know how many bites I've had. I, th I guess I gotta let them eat it. Probably not the sharpest hook I've ever used either. Could have something to do with it. Fish has got it. Got him. Got him. Oh gosh, he come off. Okay, y'all, coming back. I am bound and determined to get one of these fish on, on a jig now. I brought one extra jig. It's a little bit different. A little bit smaller hook that might work, but just have to make this precise little cast. Let it drift. 
They pick it up, and then I think I gotta let them eat it for a minute. Not a minute, but you get what I'm saying. Just, just a little bit. I could catch one of these carp or buffalo on a fly or a small jig. It's a hard thing to do. Got him, got him, got him, got him, come on. Come on, baby. Don't get off. Oh gosh, he got off. Ah, oh, God. Man, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know what it was. God. Ah, oh, that might be my last shot. They're not biting like they were. Dang it. Well, we didn't exactly set the world on fire and I came very, very close to dialing in a carp on a fly or small jig. Been wanting to do that since last summer. So getting close, got to refine that a little bit. Still really good times with dear old dad down at the river. Those, those times are important to me as I get a little bit older, going out with dad. Uh, you know, every trip is important to go on as you get older. It really is. Oh, did I just see snow? There are daggum flakes flying off, y'all. I gotta do something real quick. I gotta chop up some wood. Um, I'm always doing these wood projects here. Uh, if any of you guys are, are good on the cart game, I know some of you are, uh, leave a comment on certain flies, certain little jigs and things like that. I want to try it. I'd like to go back there and some of these other places that have them that are just, Texas is full of them and not enough people fish for them. So let me know in the comments what you think would be best for river carp fishing or just sight fishing for carp. There's a lot of lakes and stuff that um, they get stacked up in and I want to get better at it because they're a fun fight. They really are. Something I want to get better at y'all. And I'm almost thinking about taking a, uh, a course on this, like going and doing just like general woodsmanship class. Making fire on your own. I think that's a, an important skill. I mean, I know kind of how to do it, uh, but I'm going to start practicing more with that. I think it's, uh, it's just fun for me. I love wood. I love the woods. I love camping. Kind of goes along with hunting and fishing and everything. And I want to make some good little feather sticks. So I'm going to do some practice here. We haven't got our fire started yet, so I'm going to... Uh, oh, you got a fire going in there, LFD? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna get a fire started out here, and I'm gonna try to do it with my knife and uh, my ferrule rod. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Not the best conditions with all this wind to get that started, but it's good to practice. That's what I got so far, y'all. Taking, uh, taking the knife, running it down, and you're basically just trying to make shavings, like little hamster shavings. Want to make those curls, make them really fine, and then take a spark to them, and then be able to uh, blow that little ember until it lights on fire. But it's super windy right now. Those aren't bad though. Get a nice big chunk to come off of here. I can't even get this dang Zippo to spark. Well, looks like it's so cold and windy. Nothing wants to light on fire. Let's see if LFD can get it going with a good old fashioned <laughs> Bic lighter here. What's going on? It's so cold today, Dad. That nothing wants to work. <laughs> Let me get another one. Dude. Almost our, our fishing poles worked at least. Should have got some cedar. There it goes. Now we got a fire going. Y'all, we're gonna shut down right here. We're gonna finish off this great outdoor day with, with LFD. I hope wherever you are, you're having a good time with your family and friends in the outdoors. Dad, quick question, what's, your, what's our all time, what's your favorite all time adventure, father, son? Oh From our my list. gosh. Oh what do you my think gosh. it is? Man, there was a fork trip there when I caught it like a seven and a half or eight. 
Old school? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. It was good. Okay, Mexico. Mexico was awesome. Mexico was awesome. Yeah. Canada, yeah. Canada was good. Oh, Canada, Canada is my favorite. And this actually reminds me of Canada because uh, it was so cold up there and just the, the scenery. You know? Yeah. The smell of campfire and wood and just fried golden crispies. <laughs> Man. Can't wait to go back, guys. But uh, we're, we're going to end it right there. Uh, hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. You know what to do. Subscribe right here to the channel if you want more fish in action. And I will see you guys right here on the next one.